Hey guys, Colby from Muffler Tech and StolenCats.com. Uh, this video today is going to go over yet again uh, more information on the Honda Accord thefts that we've been seeing in, in huge numbers lately. Uh, of course, the Prius and, and a lot of the other vehicles that, uh, that we see are still fairly common, but uh, this one I want to talk about uh, the, the lucky situation, if we can even talk about that, if you have an Accord that got a stolen cat. And that would be if you have an 03 to 07 car that uh, doesn't require factory parts or is not an SULEV. And I'm going to show you what that's all about. So tons of Accords uh, in our parking lot, all here for stolen cats. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen uh, some of the references that I've showed you on the vehicles that uh, are SULEV. This is one of the, the dead giveaways right here, the sticker on the, on the quarter window of the back door. Um, and, and you can take it further and uh, take a look under the hood. I'll show you on this car how I know it's an SULEV. Uh, it says it right there on the top of the engine cover. Uh, and then uh, if we go uh, a little deeper in there and you look at the paragraph on the emissions control label, uh, you can actually see where it says SULEV. And of course the engine family number uh, will also uh, define that as an SULEV vehicle. So um, this is, of course, one of the unlucky um, vehicles that had its cat stolen that will require a factory part to be legal in California. Um, this one, however, is not. And I want to show you what it is that, uh, that, that means that it isn't. And if you look here, as I show you the engine cover, uh, there's a lack of the, uh, the SULEV here. Now, we don't want to use that as a, as a solid piece of evidence. Uh, it's just a, it's an initial indication to show us that we want to do is take the next step and, uh, and check the, uh, the engine family number on the, view, uh, the, the emissions control information. And the engine family number, guys, by the way, is this little number right here. And the, the way that we know that it's the engine family number uh, and not the evaporative emission control number, which is the one that's underneath, um, the way we know it's the engine family number engine group is the last five digits will have the engine size in it. You see where it says 2.4 KKC right here. All right, so the website that I'm going to use to show you uh, what I'm talking about here is carbcats.com. Um, this is a site that uh, is, is kind of a, a newer use item to us here at the shop, and we have found it to be quite a bit more friendly than the, uh, the California Air Resource Reference. Uh, just a quick note uh, on on determining if a cat is legal for a vehicle or not. We do always double check the the CARB site, the California Air Resource Board site. Um, but uh, this is a much easier site to use, and so far we haven't had it uh, give us any any bad information. So the car that I, I showed you outside that was uh, a non-SULEV um, is an 07. So we're going to select the criteria here, and uh, we'll go down obviously to Honda. It is an Accord, it is a 2.4 liter. Now this is what I like about this site. Um, you can see right here, we're, we're now on the criteria for group and it shows us an engine group we can select. Now if this particular vehicle had multiple engine group or engine family numbers that had legal parts, then it would not only have this one listed, but it would have multiple others underneath it. And then you would choose which one was on your vehicle. Now, in this case, because it's an 03 to 07 Honda Accord, uh, there is only one engine group that has legal parts, and it happens to line up with the engine family number or group that was on that car I just showed you. So we would click on this. Um, we can choose direct fit parts, universal parts, or you can just select to show all. Now, in this particular case, there's no reason to use direct fit. They've already cut the flanges off the exhaust system anyway, so direct fit is not going to work in, uh, in the instance of a theft. So we'd be going to universal. So we click universal and what happens is it populates a list of parts that are available that are legal for that car in California. We already know it matches the engine group number because we selected it up here. And you can see it shows the engine group number uh, on, your, on your screen to kind of verify that the parts that are on the screen match this particular number right here. So, um, Again, if, if we can say anybody's lucky in a stolen cat situation, um, this is a, a much better 
this particular car is in a much better place than a car that doesn't have uh, the engine group number that matches because we can use aftermarket parts, which is a huge advantage, not only speaking to the cost of the replacement, but also being that an aftermarket part doesn't have anywhere near the vulnerability of, uh, of a future theft as they are just not targeted. The, the thieves aren't after the aftermarket parts. Uh, and not, not gonna tell you we've never seen an after par aftermarket part stolen, but it's, uh, it's incredibly rare. They're, they're looking to recycle those original parts. So that's my video for you today, guys. And that's just, uh, just more information about the, uh, the, just kind of the rampant theft around the uh, 03 to 07 Honda Accords. Just a quick note. Um, we are seeing the 96 to 02 cars also with stolen cats. Uh, almost in every instance on the 02 and earlier cars were able to do aftermarket parts. So they're not nearly the concern that we see from the 03 to 07. And also um, 08 and newer, we don't see stolen parts on those, at least not yet. So this is specific to the 03 to 07 cars. Uh, the four cylinders only, the six cylinders all have aftermarket parts avail available for them at this point. Um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, most of the 03 to 07 cars are rated Sulev SULEV, which require factory parts. But this video hopefully explains if you have a car that's not SULEV and uh, it represents uh, kind of what to look for to determine that. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to continue to release videos around the, the catalytic converter theft topic. Uh, and uh, I'm looking to grow the audience. So thanks, thanks very much. Have a great day, you guys.